Hello. Um, I'm not allowed to look at that, so I need to look over here. Um, I'm not going to talk about no fit state. Bit further forward, about there. Okay, go. Uh, this is no fit state. <laughs> It's a contemporary circus company and it performs all over the world now. We're based in Cardiff, just around the corner. And I have spent 27 years making circus, indoors, outdoors, with the community, with young people, with old people. And frankly, I needed a rest. So um, 15 seconds is quite a long time, really, isn't it? <laughs> so um, I spent a year in Nepal and... Uh, Nepal has some horrendous poverty statistics, but some even worse trafficking st statistics. In the last year, eight to 12,000 people, mostly girls, have been trafficked across the Indian border. This is Saraswati. She is 23. When she was 12, she was married to an Indian circus owner. By the time she was 14, she had three children. She was trafficked in Nepal when she was out of Nepal when she was five. This is Rajan. Um, he was working on the streets of Kathmandu. Um, he told me stories about going to bed and the kids putting matchsticks between his toes and lighting them while he's sleeping. That's what it's like living on the streets. And Renu, she was trafficked into an Indian circus and was made to learn tricks by being beaten with a steel wire. Lovely. So she's a very good circus artist. Um, what else can I say about that? Well, lots of children are trafficked from the south of Nepal into India and forced to work in the circus. A lot of them are girls. It's a, a sexual thing. Um, Indian men wanting to see pale-skinned young girls. Uh, over the last 10 years, the charity that I've just finished working for has rescued 350 young people. This is a photo of... Um, the rescue that I went on where a lady is being reunited with her two children after not seeing them for 10 years. So, Circus Kathmandu, that's the project that I've been working on and it's a project that works with the young traffic survivors that want to continue a career in circus because they've missed out on so much education and they don't have a career. So there they are, that's the troop of 13 young people that I was working with and we have been working with them as a, an organisation to help them develop their skills and put them in a creative context. So here they are in training. We have a gym in Kathmandu and every day from 12 to 4 this group of young people come along and they train their circus skills. Um, we work with international volunteers from all over the world and this is a guy called Sam from Canada, and they come into Kathmandu for three months at a time and support the young people to teach them the skills and train them in circus without the wire. Here's um, a performance that, that um, we've been doing. Um, the show's called Swagatam in Nepali, which means welcome, and these young people are now performing it all over Kathmandu and had their first trip out of Nepal into Dubai um, but they do perform all over and they do shows for schools and other particularly deprived areas in Nepal so this is them performing in a state school for 2,000 young people that are all on the poverty register and here they are um, doing public shows in the streets in Kathmandu just for experience but also to prove to people that circus is a valid art form, um, which is something that they had a, a real issue with. And also acting as advocates themselves for the trafficking industry. So they work, not advocates for the trafficking industry, anti-trafficking. So they're working with young people, teaching them circus and telling them not to get trafficked themselves. Be warned, be warned. So the group, we sit down, we make decisions together and this group um, really wanted to take their art form to the UK. In 2013 they were invited to go to Glastonbury Festival to perform in the Big Top which would have been really amazing because they could have seen lots of other circus artists do lots of other circus which is something they can't see in the pool. Our friends at the UK Border Agency <laughs> Two times we applied for visas to bring them into the UK. Twice they were refused and twice the appeals were refused. Um, we're about to apply for a third time to try and bring them to Glastonbury again this year. 
and I'm just going to leave that last slide there and not comment on it at all. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ali.